Hi, I'm Major George Preddy. I'm from Greensboro, North Carolina, and I died in World War II. I came back to help you with your European history project. I flew planes when they were only three decades old. They were not as nice as these. First, I was a, a barnstormer pilot. I tried three times to be part of the Navy. I was not accepted. I passed all three tests to become part of the United States Armed Air Forces. There were no open spots at the time. In Australia, I was part of the 9th Pursuit Squadron. I flew a P-40 Warhawk. All metal, single seat, single engine, mostly fighter, but it carried bombs too. The year after that, I was involved in a mid-air collision. The other pilot, well, he didn't make it. I was in the hospital for a little while, but after I recovered, my friend Jack Donaldson helped me get assigned to the European Theater. I was part of the 487th Fighter Squadron, the 352nd Fighter Group. Now let me introduce you to some of these planes here. Those Messerschmitt Me 210s were some of the worst German aircraft I ever saw. Lots of design flaws. Really slow. They even snaked while they were in, going in a straight line. Terrible stalls. They would spin and crash. None of the dive bombers ever turned out very well. No wonder these were replaced by Me 410 Hornets. The Messerschmitt Bf 90s were another story. They were also flown by the Luftwaffe. All metal, retractable landing gear, closed canopy. They can fly day, night, any weather. That's why the top three German aces flew them. <laughs> but I still earned a silver star that day, fighting against both those airplanes. The P-51 Mustang was an American single-seat fighter bomber which had an Allison V1710 engine. That engine could not go to very high altitudes, so it was replaced with a Royals Royce Merlin, which could go above 15,000 feet, which is the same of that of the Luftwaffe fighters. Mustang pilots downed over 4,950 enemy aircraft, and Mustangs became a specialized fighter bomber. They were later used for air racing and air shows. The Boeing B-17 Flying Fortress was a four-engine heavy bomber used by the United States for daylight precision bombing against German and Japanese targets. It was high-flying and long-range bomber and was known for its ability to defend itself. It dropped more bombs than any other U.S. aircraft in World War II. The Spitfire was produced between 1939 and 1945. It was used mainly by British pilots, but also by French, Polish, Canadian, and Australian pilots. It contained a Merlin engine and was such a great plane that a German ace through his anger and frustration, told his commander to get him a squadron of Spitfires. The Hawker Tempest had exceptional technical details for World War II. It was the best British propeller fighter of the war. It was able to destroy trains, tanks, and artillery positions, and it could intercept missiles produced by German engineers. The Hawker Hurricane first flew in 1935 and was an interceptor. It was also very good at firing because it was very stable and could shoot continu continuously at the other airplanes. It was known as the best fighter bomber of its time and was good at ground attacking and anti-tank attacks. The Avro Lancaster was considered the greatest bomber for night assault on Germany. It had four engines and 
could hold seven people. It was a heavy bomber and had a bigger bomb load than any other plane. The Armstrong Whitley was a really slow plane, yet it was the first airplane to fly over Berlin for the Allies. Its slowness led it to be a night bomber, and it also was used for anti-submarine warfare. It sunk the first German U-boat. The Ju-87 was a dive bomber used to bomb anti-aircraft positions and look for tanks. It was used mainly for ground attack, yet it had very bad handling and was very heavy. It also had bad defense capabilities, yet it had a very loud sound when it dove to bomb and caused psychological effects on the troops. It destroyed more tanks than any other plane other than one Russian ground attack aircraft. The HE-177 was a German Luftwaffe airplane nicknamed the Flaming Coffin or the Luftwaffe's Lighter. It was an excellent heavy bomber, yet its four Daimler Benz engines caused it to catch fire, hence its nickname. This caused it to be hated by pilots who did not want to catch on fire. It used three remotely controlled defense gun turrets controlled from the cockpit. This caused the plane to be much lighter. However, once again, the fires were a problem. The DO-17 was named the Flying Pencil due to its shape. It was a postal service aircraft for the Lufthansa and was also being tested as a bomber aircraft. After the First World War, Germany could not use an air force, so they had to pretend like all airplanes were for civil purposes. The Luftwaffe used the DO-17 during the Blitzkrieg and also against Poland and France. Yet it was not a match for Allied fighter aircrafts and was used later as transport. The BA-349 Nader was a very unusual plane. It was nicknamed the Viper by Allied forces and was used as a German aircraft to intercept Allied bombers. It had a very simple design with wooden wings and did not have any control flaps except for on the tail. It had a main engine of a Walter 109-509A rocket motor and the entire plane weighed more than 4,000 pounds. This is a very unusual plane because the pilot would launch 24 unguided rockets and then eject himself from the plane. The plane would then usually be ruined and hopefully the rockets would hit the enemy plane. The Arado AR-196 was used by Germany as a long-range reconnaissance patrol aircraft. It was utilized as a troop ferry platform mainly in the final days of the war. While flying, pilots could hide among the clouds and go through the clouds in order to hide from enemy airplanes. I'm proud to have served my country in World War II. By the way, thanks for having me in a road after me.